When is the best time to buy your ticket? About six to eight weeks before. This is the question I get out. When should I buy? I'm going to Europe in August and flights are so expensive. Assuming that there is no, you didn't find some crazy flight deal. This is every day um, searching. Six to eight weeks is the best time to buy. And there's a reason for this. So airlines have a really complex computer model that talks, you know, analyzes previous buying patterns, sales, uh, competition prices, and then uses that to sort of spit out a price to you. An airline might have 10 to 15 price points for that flight. And of course, they want those, the higher price points to be, you know, they want people to buy at the higher price points. So on a flight that you're going to say next year, you know, you're going to Europe next summer, and you're booking a year in advance, the airline has really no idea what's the price of jet fuel next year. Uh, what if we hit a recession and no one wants to fly that? What if suddenly that pr London becomes the hot spot and everybody wants to fly it? What if, what if, what if? And so they're going to price it higher far in advance to sort of hedge their bets. They price it too low, they fill up at a lower price point, and you know, maybe then a year from now, all their competitors have raised their rate and they got stuck you know, uh, with all these passengers who got a deal. I mean, they're not out to like, hey, I'll give all these consumers these deals. They want your money. Um, so too far in advance is not good. So as we get closer and closer to departure date, airlines will, the plane cart sort of fills up. And if demand starts rising and this load factor of the plane starts rising, they're going to start selling the higher price tickets. We, get, we start to get closer and closer. Planes not, that flight's not selling. They're gonna start selling at the cheaper tickets. And they're gonna constantly keep changing prices until they find that balance of you know, profitability, hoping that they're gonna get more people at the higher end. And this is really great for consumers because people tend to book early. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Europe in August. I already know my dates. I'll just book it now. Well, you got to wait. Um, you know, I like Hayek's little price monitor thing because it can show you a historical trend, but that doesn't mean, you know, it's going to go, keep going down. It can just drop right back up. Um, so six to eight weeks, um, you know, eight to 12 for big international uh, departures, especially on frequent routes, you know, San Francisco, Hong Kong, New York, London, Chicago. Paris, whatever. Um, by then, the airlines have sort of figured out how full is our plane? Do we need to release a bunch of the cheap seats? Or have we sold enough where we can start raising the prices? We, because based on previous sales history and um, you know, consumer buying habits, we can predict that more people are going to start to buy really quickly, and we can get people at the cheaper fares. Because airlines put people into two groups business car travelers and leisure travelers. If you're a business traveler, you're very specific to your flight dates. And you tend to also fly last minute. So you're like, whatever, I have to get to this meeting in Chicago, I'm going to go. Leisure travelers are a little bit more price sensitive. Um, so they have to price some uh, tickets a little lower. And airlines are constantly trying to balance those two. So after this, Airlines have a kind of idea as to how much the, air, the ticket's going to be and the plane factor. Um, within 30 days, if you're booking within 30 days, you probably need that flight. If you're booking within two weeks, a week, you really need that flight because you waited last minute. Tickets are going to go through the roof. Why? Because they got you. They know that you need them more than they need you. And so you're going to pay their fare, especially because business travelers tend to fly uh, last minute and book last minute. So they sort of raise that fare for everybody else. Now, you had mentioned that you had heard that um, airlines will offer cheap deals to fill planes last minute. That is really true for tours and cruises because nobody wants to go on an empty ship or be the only person on a tour. Airlines do not do that. 
For the life of me, I have no idea why, because once that plane takes off, it's empty, but they will keep raising that price to departure day. You can show up in front of the airline and be like, hey, I want to go to Rome, it leaves in, I want to go to Bologna, that flight leaves in an hour, and I just saw on your website, it's half empty. Great, $5,000. They do not care. It goes up. It makes zero sense. If somebody could predict airline prices, they probably would have already, and they'd be Facebook rich. They'd probably be richer than, than Zuckerberg, because that's, this is one thing you know, everyone is always wondering about. When's, I'm curious, because this is something that's relatively new, because they used to have what were standby tickets. You really could go into the airport and get the last seat on the plane, and they would give it to you for a huge price. But what shifted? Security. Uh. So you remember back in the day, you could just be a courier? Yeah, I did that a few times. Yes. Yeah, I've forgotten about that. So now you can't. Right. Airport security. Po we live in a post 9 11 world. I need background checks. I need to make sure you know, you're not getting on the plane. You are who you say you are. Um, and so, um, yeah, so security. Um, you can still fly standby. You can still, you know, if you, but now you have to book a ticket. You have to have paid money or you have to have like, a, a companion buddy pass. Um, you're someone you know works for an airline. You just can't show up and be like, yeah, you know, I see this flight's leaving in 30 minutes. Can I hop on it? No, they're not letting you do that. 